Across Britain today, there lies hundreds of thousands of metallic objects in the soils that surround us, from the earliest times of the Bronze Age, when metal was introduced into Britain, right through to modern times. The discovery of metal has influenced mankind from its earliest days of discovery right through to the Industrial Revolution. How and why did so much metal end up just below our feet? But it's here on metallic wastelands where we go in search of the hundreds and thousands of metal objects left in the soils over the past 4,000 years of history. Quite literally, the hundreds of streams and rivers such as this one flowing down from the mountains of Scotland, all running into Loch Lomond, some 621 feet deep. If you've ever considered visiting Loch Lomond, then maybe now's the time. A place of outstanding beauty. Britain is a landscape of conquest, a jewel in the crown of history, but what was it that made it so desirable to kings and emperors across the world who invaded our shores over thousands of years? Britain was quite simply a rich resource to any would-be invaders. But the British Isles so desirable that kings, emperors and empires would raise armies to invade our shoreline. The history of Britain was about to change forever. And a keen hand would produce these tools for use as small blades. But the manufacture of stone and flint tools was to fall by the wayside as bronze came to Britain around about 2000 BC when the first implements such as this bronze dagger were manufactured the importation of copper and tin and the production of the first bronzes brought to Britain by the late Neolithic people and the early Bronze Age. I can't help feeling privileged that I've walked the landscape of Britain and found tools and implements from the earliest times with the Neolithic flint tools 6000 BC, the stone polished axe. But it's the manufacture of bronze in Britain that really excites me with samples such as this beautiful bronze dagger cast around about 2000 BC using new technology and the first metals in Britain. There's little doubt that over the last 15 to 20 years I've walked hundreds of miles across the British landscape, but in that time I've found evidence left behind by our ancient ancestors. To be able to find this information from the earth is amazing and tells us a story of mankind from earliest times. My name's James Barr, archaeologist and historian, and since the age of 13 I've had a passion for everything history. From the Stone Age through the Bronze Age to the Romans and Saxons, I realised I had to find out so much more about the history of Britain. Some 30 years later, my personal journey of discovery continues as I go in search of more evidence left behind by our ancestors in the soils that lay just beneath our feet. Welcome to TV Presenter for History. Throughout many years of research, I've uncovered vital pieces of evidence telling us so much more about the lives and beliefs of our ancestors. 